SCC in Clarkson is where many of our captains go, but many of us don't know what it is. Let's take an inside look at what the campus has to offer. I was, doing, I was just telling Mrs. George, we just did a, uh, we can do this. It's, it's called a CNC machine. And this one has a CNC lathe. CNC lathe, and you also have a CNC mill. First, they have to learn the basic equipment, and then they have to learn the more advanced when they're learning programming of the, of the machines. Oh, robots move. How about that, right? So you can see here, it's, it's a, it, it has to have information to know what it's going to do. So on the left, there's a program. It's talking to the electronics in there, and then it does what it's supposed to do. Is that your name? Jobs. A lot of different jobs. They're figuring about four or 500 robotics jobs from them moving that over here. So there's a lot of opportunities. One of them is in medicine. They taught, they had a, a section just for robotics uh, related to medical field. And then they had a top secret one there where each robot was worth a million dollars and the combination, there was 10 of them, they're gonna make uh, a uh, I definitely have to say what you see has brought a lot of opportunity and uh, I really, I just came here to try to find my niche and I really like this stuff. And first year, you go through rotations and you, you know, find what you wanna do. And we, I have my first rotation was machining, which is working on parts and you know, using machine tools to make the parts. But in here, you get to use a program called SolidWorks, and you get to design them. And right now, we're learning how to draw them. And it's, you know, it's nice. And OTC is connected to a lot of different colleges and internships, which is, you know, great for after you graduate high school to go and you know, try to get a job further your life. Our program offers a very well-rounded construction program. Um, the, what we're going to do is build a 16 by 60 foot uh, residential structure outdoors and uh, the students have already built the uh, footing forms and we're getting ready to pour concrete. They estimated how much concrete has to go into those forms. We just got our delivery this morning. Once we're done, we'll, we'll have had uh, built footing forms, poured concrete, laid two courses of block, built our, our floor frame, lay out, cut and build stairs to go up to it, and uh, then we're going to frame, we're going to rough in the walls, uh, put in all the partition walls, set all the trusses, sheet it, uh, shingle it, and then we will finish the inside as well as the, the exterior of the house. So it'll be finished, you know, and it'll start, we'll start from the ground up, finish it inside and outside. So it'll give every student a really well-rounded experience in every phase of construction because a lot of construction companies will specialize in one thing. Uh, it may be drywall, or it may be electrical, or it may be masonry, or it may be rough framing. So they'll have a, they'll be exposed to all those things and they can make a more informed career decision on where they'd like to go once they, once they do our program. We really want to reinforce learning. We want to make sure the students are learning uh, the concepts that we're teaching them. But ultimately, our goal is to get a lid on that house before January. So we're, we're spending 80% of our time out there in the lab working. Uh, we generally have an organizational meeting in the, in the morning, talk about what the jobs that need to be done and who's going to be doing those jobs. And you know, we go out there and we go to work. And then all the, all the academics that are related to what we do is relevant to, to the project that we're working on during that time. My name is Chef Nick Lopez. I'm the hot food instructor at the Northwest Campus of Culinary Arts. Our program offers many different work experiences from baking and pastry, hot foods, cold foods, bar manger. Uh, we work with front of the house, we do banquet services, we have competitions, we have uh, work placement opportunities for the students. The students like to choose this program because it's very hands-on. They get to eat and try a lot of food. They get to learn a lot of things. And even if they're not looking for this industry, everybody has to eat and survive in this world. And it's a good life skill to learn and adapt to. If these students are able to get surf safe certifications. Uh, first year students get food handlers. Second years get surf safe manager certified. And then we're also going to experiment with the alcohol and the allergen certifications this year. As you can see, OSTC is a great way to get hands-on learning skills. Maybe this is the program for you.